In this video, we're going to talk about HTML5 video and audio. There are a lot of great things about HTML5, and one of the things that got people the most excited was what can be done with the new video and audio tag. So it used to be, for instance, with video, that if you wanted to use video in HTML, you'd have to do something like this, some long, nasty bit of code. But even more importantly, what would happen was for someone to be able to view the video, they would actually have to have the plugin to be able to view it. So if it was an MOV file, they had to have QuickTime, and or if it was Flash, they'd have to have Flash, or Windows Media, and then sometimes Mac users would have a problem. And so it became a real nightmare because video was not easily accessible. So HTML5 was supposed to simplify that. So basic idea is that you would have something like this, the video tag, right? Open closing tag few other things and then links to the video itself. Unfortunately it got a little complicated because of propriety codecs and other things about certain browsers not wanting for instance to support mp4 where in the past that used to be a very common format that most users could access and so then you see the AUG or OGG file types um, or WebM and so it started to get very complicated and very quick. And so this video is about the basics of HTML5 audio and video I'm not going to get into the specifics. This is really just for beginners to get off and running with using the HTML5 tags for audio and video. So, the basic idea is that you first need to have an audio or a video file that you want to use in a web page. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Dreamweaver and I'm going to start a new file. And I'm just going to pick a basic one like this. In this case, I'm just going to add the CSS to the head. Usually, I would always, for any page, I would create a new file and have an external style sheet. But for this example, it's simple enough just to have it all on one page. So, like these Dreamweaver pages they have, they give you some basic information, which is great. But in this case, we don't need all this. So, we're just going to have a couple examples here. So now, before you even get going, the question might be, why would you mess with HTML5 when it comes to audio or video? The main reason is because it will make it easier for your users to access the audio or video or the multimedia that you have. For instance, your users not only would not need to have the right plugin, but also certain mobile devices, for instance, um, an iPhone or an iPad, will be able to access them. One of the things you have to realize before using HTML5 audio or video is that it's not supported by all browsers. So this is constantly changing. So all you have to do is Google, you know, HTML5 video browser support, and you'll see a few different pages. For instance, if I go to this one, the state of HTML5 video, and this was updated October, so it's going to be relatively new. It will show you basically which browsers will support HTML5 video. So you'll see that Internet Explorer 6, 7, 8, does video. not support. Now they predict that that's only 13% of the market share. But depending on your users, that might be a big problem. And there are ways that you can get around some of this, but you have to be aware that this is really meant for browsers such as new versions of Chrome, Firefox, Safari, or Internet Explorer 9 and Internet Explorer 10, which is coming, which will support HTML5 video. But once you're comfortable with that and you realize that everyone's going to be updating the browser soon and you want to jump right in, first thing you want to do I'm gonna to go to split view first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in video I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna close the video tag and so that's the basic tag and then you're gonna put some stuff within it so the first thing that I do is I decide on the width of my video and this you should know already so in this case I'm just gonna do 320 and put the height in it's 240 and then I'm gonna type controls then let me add some space here. I need to actually case, add the source. And this is where I actually point out where the video is. In this case, I'm going to leave this blank for the second. I'm going to type in the type. And so if I did this, this would work fine for certain browsers, but not all browsers nowadays support MP4 for long, complicated reasons. And so I'm going to just copy this in um, because I'm going to actually do two more things here. Let me clean this code up a little. So now I'm going to change this from MP4 because the second type of video I'm going to use, so I'm going to use an OGG or some people call it an OG, and then a WebM. 
And so basically, you can learn more about each of these formats if you want. There's long stories about them. But if you want HTML5 video to work on any browser that at least supports HTML5 video, you're going to want to have three versions of your video. And so you're going to want to have an MP4, an OGG, and a WebM. And so in this case, I'm going to get my video, and I'm going to show you how to convert it into each of these formats so this will work. So right now I have this video in an MP4 format. And so you can see how it works. And this would work great. And I could just make sure I have a copy of this saved into my folder that I have that I saved this web page into. But in this case, I'm going to need three different versions. And so you need to find a tool to convert your videos into each one of these formats. Often you might have it as an MP4, but then you need to get a WebM and an AUG format, right? So there are a lot of different tools out there that you can use. Some of them are free, some of them you can pay for, that accomplish you most of your needs. So if you go to mirrorvideoconverter.com, you'll find it and you'll download it. It's free, it's cross-platform, it's open source, and it's pretty great for converting basic videos into multiple formats. So I have my video, and with where I'm saving this is on my desktop in a folder called HTML5, and this is where I'm going to save my web page. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. It's always something you want to do right away. So I'm going to save that there, and then what I'm going to do is... Within the video, I'm going to copy that MP4 file. So now I've downloaded Mirror Video Converter. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that MP4 over. And I'm going to first use this first one. And that's going to create my OGG file. And I'm going to hit Convert. So now it shows me that finished converting it into the, in this case it says OGV. You can actually change that to OGG and it will work just fine. In this case, though this took about 45 50 minutes so be aware that depending on the type of your original video file it can take definitely a while and so usually what I'll do always is I can see the video now it saved the new version in the same folder I would clean it up and get rid of the uh, theor but what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to create my webm version notice it also vp8 you'll hear people talk about and so this, once again, is probably going to take anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes. So I'm going to come back in a bit when it's done. Okay, so just like that, it finished. So now that I have my three versions of my video, I can always open them and view them with VLC player. And so if you don't have this installed on your computer, it's kind of like the Swiss Army knife for playing videos. It will play nearly any video out there. So just like that, you can see that that plays. That looks good. And every now and then with Mirror, I found that it has a problem and I have to redo it, um, reconvert it. But for the most part, it tends to work pretty good. So I can do the same thing. So those look good. So I tend to, at least with this one, I tend to rename it. So I get rid of this part. And you notice that sometimes you, you'll see OGV versus OGG. For instance, if I copy that, right, and I have my second version... And if I rename this one, OGG, if I take that OGG and I go to play it, you'll notice that it plays as well. So in this case, I'm just going to leave all of these types right here. So then, now that I've created those, I would go back to Dreamweaver. And down here in my code, this is where I need to point to the file. So if I start over, you'll notice that I'll get this browse. So that's sometimes the easiest way. And so I can go find it. There's my MP4. And you can see that this is basic format. So I can follow the same thing, for instance, and copy this in, change the extension, do the same thing here, WebM. So then, next thing is to save it and preview it. So I'm going to preview it in Firefox. And you'll notice that here it is. And if I click play, it works fine. And so you'd want to test this in every browser that you can, and you ideally would also test it on an iPad or an iPhone as well to see that it works as well there. But ideally you want to test on Internet Explorer 9, Safari, Firefox, and Google Chrome, and probably Opera as well just to cover all of your bases. So that's basically how you use HTML5 video tag and convert it so it will play on pretty much any new version of the browsers. Keep in mind that Internet Explorer 678 do not support HTML5 video. So now let's look at HTML5 audio. So HTML5 audio is 
real similar to HTML5 video in that you're going to need multiple formats because a common format like MP3 is not supported across all browsers. So HTML5 Doctor has this great page. If you scroll down, you can see that it outlines basically for both desktop browsers as well as mobile which support which format. So MP3 is supported by a number of them, but Firefox and Opera don't support it. The same way OGG is not supported by Internet Explorer. So, so I have an audio file. I'm going to first copy it into my audio folder and I'm going to drag it over now. Always be careful with audio and video to make sure that you have rights to use it. I'm going to drag it over. I'm going to check the R and hit convert. And you'll notice that unlike the video, audio goes a lot faster. I'm going to right click. I'm going to open this with VLC, see if it plays. And it plays just fine. So that worked so, just how I wanted. In this case, I'm going to close Miro. I'm going to go back. And you can find different places, just like with HTML5 video, if you just Google HTML5 audio. You'll find places like this that will outline the basic code that you need. So I'm going to take that and go into Dreamweaver and right down here I'm going to paste that in. And so in this case I need to get rid of this and change the source. Go to my audio and click on that. And I sometimes as I did before I might rename this and shorten this up but it works fine for now for this demonstration. Hit browse, mp3, alright now I'm gonna hit save and you can see it says your browser does not support the audio element so let's take a look and actually preview it in a browser and see how it works okay so you can see the HTML5 tag is added this in if I click play it works and that's in Safari so once again you want to always check multiple browsers and it works on Safari and Firefox. So and if you look at this, I tried it on Safari and on Firefox. So in one version, it's actually using the MP3. and the other, it's basically using the OGG version. So this was a real basic introduction to HTML5 audio and video, basically showing you how to add the basic code that you need, how to convert the video and the audio files into multiple formats. Be aware that Handbrake is a great alternative to convert videos, as well as Audacity is a great cross-platform open source for audio, especially if you're recording your own, converting your own, doing whatever you need to do. So spend some time checking out those other tools as well, but hopefully this gave you a basic introduction into why you might use HTML5 audio and video and how you can go ahead and get started in no time using it. Thanks.